Hey everyone, today we have some big news in the world of gaming on the Mac. Hector Martin aka Markin42 has officially stepped down as the lead developer of Asahi Linux. And if you didn't already know, Asahi Linux is the groundbreaking project that has brought native Linux support to the Apple Silicon Mac. And since Apple doesn't officially support Linux on its ARM-based chips, the Asahi team have had to reverse engineer nearly every single component from keyboards, displays, audio drivers, USB ports, trackpads, power management, and more, all without any assistance from Apple themselves. And they've accomplished something incredible. Asahi Linux isn't just running on Apple Silicon, it's thriving. Thanks to innovations like the Vulkan 1.4 Honeycrisp driver and the clever use of micro virtual machines, Proton and Windows games are now playable on Apple Silicon Max. Thousands of games, including those that previously wouldn't work through translation layers like Crossover, now run smoothly on Asahi Linux. And this progress is positioning Asahi Linux to potentially reach Steam Deck-like levels of compatibility in the future. So why is Markan stepping away? So according to his blog post, it comes down to burnout, stress, and the weight of leading such a massive project. He's managed everything, technical development, public relations, organizing contributors, and dealing with entitled users and relentless criticism. On top of that, he and his family have faced harassment and stalking, making an already difficult job even more challenging. And another major factor in his departure is an ongoing battle with the Linux community over Rust support in the kernel. Mark has strongly advocated for integrating Rust-written drivers, but faced stiff resistance from veteran C developers who had concerns about compatibility and maintenance. The debate escalated into a larger discussion about transparency, with Mark pushing for openness, while Linus Torvalds and others disapproved of his approach, particularly his use of social media to address these issues. The combination of these struggles, along with the declining financial support and demanding users' expecting rapid feature development, left Markin feeling disillusioned. Ultimately, he made the difficult decision to step away from the project today. So does this mean that Asahi Linux is dead? Absolutely not. While Markan is stepping away from the leadership, the project is still active with other developers continuing the work. Open source projects often go through leadership transitions and many thrive beyond their original founders. And Markan himself has reassured the community that Asahi Linux will go on. A new leadership governance system consisting of seven board members will now lead the project and continue the work of bringing Linux to Mac. And while progress might slow down temporarily, the foundation has been laid for continued development. The team is still committed to refining the experience and expanding hardware support. And if you want to see Asahi Linux thrive, then now is the time to step up. Consider supporting the project financially through their new crowdfunding platform, the Asahi Linux Open Collective. I'll leave a link to this in the description. Your contributions will help sustain the developers carrying the project forward and ensure that Apple Silicon Linux continues to improve. And lastly, a huge thank you to Markan and his tireless work in making this dream a real reality. Asahi Linux wouldn't be where it is today without him. So what do you guys think? Will Asahi Linux continue at the same pace or will Markin's departure slow things down? Let me know in the comments. Anyway, thanks for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.